Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50 and today's workout. Today we're going to continue our muscle building workout for people over 50. So basically we've done the back and the chest, the biceps and the triceps in our two previous videos. And I'll make sure to leave a link to those in the description below. And today we are going to concentrate on the legs and the shoulders. So we have three different leg exercises and a super set shoulder exercise. Once again, Couple sets of dumbbells. If you have adjustable dumbbells, use those or some other dumbbells that I have a set of 20 and a set of pens, I think. And a bench, the bench is optional. You can do without it. For here, I'm gonna use the bench for my seated shoulder presses as the ceiling in here is really low. So I'm gonna sit down for it. So we'll go through it as we go. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right into a workout. Remember, three sets of each between 10 and 12 repetitions per exercise. Starting off with some goblet squats. If you need to elevate your heels on these and step on something, if you have a two by four or something, something handy or a book, elevate your heels a little bit, it'll make this exercise a little bit easier and you can achieve a greater range of motion. If you don't need to do that, just grab your dumbbell and just go down as far as you can. If you need to do it or you have nothing to step on, remember, nice and slow with control as always, guys. That's the whole motto here. We don't want to get injured. We want to come back and continue these workouts day in and day out. So let's get going for nice and slow 12 repetitions. Ready? One, two, three, and let's go. One, two, three, four. If you're like me, your range of motion will get better as we progress through the exercises. I think at seven, let's do five more. One, two, Three, four, last one, and five. And we'll take a little break. That's set number one. We'll take about 30, 40 second break. So the reason why I like starting with goblet squats is because that dumbbell in front kind of provides balance for you as you go down. As uh, you know, if you're holding dumbbells up on your shoulders or holding them to the sides, having that weight in front gives a little bit of balance. For me at least, and it gives me a little more range of motion. This leg is pretty light for goblet squats, so that's why we slow down the pace just a little bit. Makes it a little more difficult while using lighter weights. Remember, we're here to build a little bit of strength along the build a little bit of muscle, but we're focusing on strength most importantly, because the stronger we are, the better we will live, as I put it. So we'll continue talking about that after this set. Ready for set number two? Let's go for 12 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Halfway done, let's do six more. One, two. Three, three more. One, two, and three. And we put those down. So as I was saying, I think we can do cardio in order to live longer, and we need to lift weights in order to live better. Um, I'm 53, and I'm kind of sticking to that motto. I'm not looking to get huge muscles or anything, or you know, show anything off. I'm just looking to, you know, not hurt when I get up off the couch, not hurt when I get out of the car, not look awkward, I'm bending down to pick something up. So that's the kind of exercising I try to do on this channel, and that's what we're going with today. Um, so we're not doing any heavy squats or anything, just very basic exercises that can be very functional in everyday life. Anyway, moving on, let's take a few more seconds. We'll go for the third and final set of this exercise. All right. Final set of goblet squats, and here we go, ready? One. Try to stay as upright as you can. Two. Three. Four, and remember, only go down as long as nothing hurts. So if that means you're only going down halfway, it's quite all right. Or if you're not using any weights, quite all right also just to be doing air squats. What do we got left, four? Let's do four more. One, two, three, and one more. 
and four. And weights go away. All right, so that was exercise number one. Second exercise, preview should be up right now, is gonna be a reverse lunge or a backward lunge. The reason why I chose the backward lunge, I feel like it's a little bit easier on the old knees just to grab the weights or you can do it with no weights at all and just step backward. We're gonna go for 12 repetitions, so six on each leg for this one. Nice and easy step back and come back up. This will get your quads if you're staying straight upright. So that's what we're looking forward to. Same weights, these are 20s by the way. If you're wondering for whatever reason, you do whatever you do for you. And we're going for 12 repetitions, ready? Three, two, one, step back. And that's one. Back, find yourself a good balance and two. That back leg can go a little diagonally. So you find good balance. Unlike that repetition, see what I mean? Hey, these are filmed live. Sometimes I'm off balance. Sometimes I'm not. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do two more. One and two. Weights go back. We'll take another short little break. That's why I'm not by balance. But I, like I always say, I film these for you guys as I'm working out with you. You know what? I'm sure sometimes when you're working out, you also lose your balance. Um, anyway, so once that's done, working on the quads. Once again, I can't stress this enough. Only lunge back and go down as far as you can without feeling any pain. You might find that you're feeling pain in your knees on these exercises. Just go, if it's halfway, it's all right. Keep on progressing through it. Eventually you'll get better, hopefully. And that pain will get less and less. So you can go deeper and deeper on your exercises. Set number two, same thing, 12 reps. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One and two. And we got two sets down. Weights down, take a little breather. I'm not even looking at my watch. Normally, I like to take 60 to 90 seconds in between the sets. Depending on the effort level and everything else, I think for the purpose of this video, they're a little bit shorter because I don't want to stretch this out to be a 45 minute workout. But um, we'll take about 30, 45 seconds off, kind of playing by ear. When you feel ready to go, basically it's rule of thumb, you feel ready to go, ready to hit it again, you just go again. If that's 30 seconds, that's fine. If it's a minute and a half, also just fine. Remember, be ready to go so you can hit your 12 repetitions one more time. This third and final set, this 12 repetitions should feel, feel a little more difficult than it did on the previous two sets. So don't take you know a week between exercises. But like I said, give yourself 30, 40 seconds. All right, we got one final set. Backward lunges, you guys ready to go? In three, two, one, and go with me, come on. One. Two, one, and two. Nice and easy. Stay upright as you can. And we're halfway done. Keep it up. Two more. One. And two, and I almost lost my balance on that last one. All right, so the 20s are down for me. I might move to 30s for this next exercise as we are doing RDLs. So we're gonna be working the hamstrings and the glutes, mostly the hamstrings for today. So as you have your weights next to you or in front of you, as you bend down, we're only gonna go back 
as far as we can with our knees almost locked out. Not quite locked out, but almost locked out. So it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be bending your knees down and lifting it up. You're actually gonna leave them right here, lock everything in, just gonna roll down. Those butts are gonna go back and as far as you can, and then you're gonna come back up. This will concentrate more on the hamstrings than the glutes. If you bend on these, our knees more a little bit, it'll be more concentration on the glutes. Like I said, for this, I'm gonna grab a little heavier weights. So I'm gonna move on to the 30 pounders and we're getting ready to go. So, ready? The weights stay close to your legs. Don't wanna let them swing up front. You're gonna protect the lower back by keeping them close, as close as you can. So we're going for 12 reps. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Roll them down and I'm just going right back up. It's only as far as I can go with my legs relatively straight. But back and up. Nice and slow. Four. Five. Six. You'll notice that as the more we do these, obviously the more of a stretch you get, you start going lower and lower. Two more, ready? One and back, two and back, and weights down on the ground. So with the other DL, lock everything in, keep that core nice and tight to protect that lower back. So really brace, you know, keep it tight. Suck that gut in a little bit, and then just go down and come back up. That's all there is to it. All right, let's take a little break. We are already taking a break, what am I talking about? And then we just move on to set number two. Give ourselves another 15 seconds or so and move on to set number two. Remember, the straighter your legs are, the more hamstring you'll work. We just did a bunch of quad work with both of the previous exercises and now we're hitting the hamstrings. So the major leg muscles will be covered. Um, we're not gonna do in calves today, but uh, you can just, as you walk in another room, room this is what you can do for calves. And if that's too easy, what I like to do, this is a, another exercise you can do. One leg and just hold it and down. Hold it and down. Hold it and down. So I like to do like a three second hold on top. One, two, three, back down. Three second hold, one, two, three, and back down. So that's how I would work the calves. But we're not doing those today. But however, where I'm doing set number two of our hamstring RDL. So this one I'm gonna set hand sideways. So everything locked in and just gonna roll the weights down, butt back and back up. Down as far as I can go, whatever your flexibility allows you to do, and back up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, four more. Stay with me, nice and slow and control. Two more. One, and two, and weights down. Whew, yep, definitely starting to feel them. Nice, tight stretch and pull on the hamstrings. Because if you guys are here on this channel, these are beginning to intermediate workouts for people that are over 50. So I'm gonna say this again, not looking to build huge muscle or anything, just looking to basically develop your cardiovascular system and strengthen just a little bit. And you know what, with a good diet and everything else, you'll see a little bit more muscle. But that's kind of what we're looking forward to. We're just doing so we can improve our everyday living. That's at least how I feel about this channel and that's at least what my workouts are on this channel or my personal workouts always revolve around. All right, those two sets. We have one more set left. Let's make it a good one. Last one, best one for the legs. Grab your weights, be careful when you pick them up to the floor, bend down and then lift with your legs. We all know that, so we practice that. That's why we do goblet squats, right? All right, here we go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna face you guys this time. 
Let's go for 12 reps. Ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Slow on the way down and up. And that's one. Slow and two. Butt back and three. Slow four. Five. Halfway, keep it up. One. Two. Three, three left. One. Two, one more. Down. And back up, and that makes it a 12. All right. I can put these weights away. Not gonna need the 30s anymore. And we're moving on to shoulders. So for shoulders, we're gonna do a superset of a shoulder press followed by a lateral raise. So I say 10 to 12 repetitions shoulder presses and 10 to 12 of the lateral raise. And we, once again, since my basement is very, 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 very short, I'm gonna do this seated on the bench. You definitely don't have to use a bench. Feel free to press standing up and then do a new lateral raise, all right? So give me a second to set up. And I use my favorite home bench, which is the, this Flybird bench, which you can pick up on Amazon, by the way, for about 120-ish, 130-ish dollars. And on the bench, if some benches go all the way up to 90 degrees when you put them on, you fold them up, give yourself, do yourself a favor and put it just one notch back. So it's about 80 degrees or so, maybe 85. Um, I find that for me and for most people at 90 degrees, you have to have your shoulders all the way back. It's very difficult to get a nice full range of motion because our shoulders are just not as flexible. If you lean back at about 85 degrees or so, this becomes much easier. Yes, it works a little bit more of your chest than your front delt, but you get 99% of the benefit without introducing any injury or reducing the percentage of injury. All right, so we're going to shoulder presses, going straight into our lateral raises. So I need two sets of dumbbells because the shoulder press weight is going to be way too heavy in order to do lateral raises correctly. All right, straight up shoulder presses, grab your weights. Try to get 10 to 12 repetitions once again. And let's go in three, two, one, weights up and press up, down, up, nice and control. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more, one, two, three, and last one, and four. Carefully put the weights down, grab your lighter weights, and we're gonna go for the rattle raises. And this I like to set up straight, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, give me a few more, one, Two, three, four, five, and last one, and six. All right, that's set number, super set number one, I should say. We have two more left. So I know for pure muscle building, shoulder width, the lateral raises are probably better than the shoulder presses. Um, they give you that capped look if you look at the widening your shoulders. However, shoulder presses, which work a lot of the, your front delt and a little bit of your chest, um, are much better for functionality. I mean, how often do we lift anything like this? Not very often. 
but we always are pressing things, you know, putting them on the shelf or anything else. So we always are doing the shoulder press. So functionality wise, shoulder presses for overall strength are probably better. That's why we're doing this as the first exercise of the two. And we're just kind of finishing off our shoulder, excuse me, with the lateral raise. So that was set number one. We have a couple more sets left. Let's get ready for set number two. Ready for shoulder presses, sit back, weights up, and let's go for 12. Ready, one, two, three, four. As much of a range of motion as you can. If you can put those dumbbells down on your shoulders, that's perfect. If you only go halfway, that's all right too. Seven, eight, nine, 10, two more, one, and two, and weights down immediately into your lighter weight, and sit straight up, feet bent on the ground, and let's go, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, four more. One, two, three, and one more, and four. All right, set number two in the bag. Whew. What time is it? We got 30 seconds or so. A little longer rest because we are doing two consecutive sets. So this is gonna be less than final set, guys, it's coming up. We've covered the legs, we've covered the shoulders. I have hundreds, hundreds more videos on this channel, check them out. There's more if you, didn't, you feel like you didn't do enough legs. There's a couple of pretty popular leg videos, go and check those out and uh, just look around. There's, like I said, there is, I think 600, five, 600 of full workouts of all varieties and then four or 500 shorts, which is kind of produced for fun and because they're fun to make and give you a little bit of instruction at the same time, all in a minute or less. So having said that, we are moving to last and final set. Grab those weights. And let's go for 12, ready? One, two, three, go up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Halfway, keep it up. Two more. One, down, last final press, up and down. Weights on the ground. And give me lateral raises. Let these burn, ready? Three, two, one, let's go, one. Two, we also let try to work hard. Three, and smart. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four more. One, two, three. Last one, four, and nice and easy on the way down. All right, that's it. We've covered legs, we've covered shoulders. On the two previous videos, we covered the rest of the body. This is our muscle building, short 20, 25 minute videos. Repeat these workouts once or twice a week, guys. Throw in a little bit of cardio here and there. You'll have a nice, healthy, and fit yourself, basically your body. Um, so thank you for joining me today for the F50, starting for the awkward close. Make sure to come back for more workouts. They do come out every Monday and every Thursday. We have not missed an upload in almost five years right now. So there's plenty of content for you to check out. My name is Paul. This has been After 50 and I'll see you guys during the next workout.